Good morning, everybody. I am um, here with you this morning. This is uh, November the 21st. Mercury in retrograde is um, going direct. And I just wanted to share some information, not to mention for those of you who um, missed uh, the Mercury in retrograde class, bridging the gap between um, biblical understanding and astrology. You might look at it as metaphysics um, and esoterical um, teaching. So um, it's a deeper teaching. It's a teaching like Jesus calling um, Peter into the deep because what he was doing is actually showing him by um, the faith standard that uh, Peter uh, was established on and his name being Petros. He was showing Peter things that other people hadn't saw yet. So, <clears throat> of course, my name is uh, Kim Warner. When I get inspirations, I just kind of like get into the flow and I'm there to explain some things for people that might be in the mind of understanding the um, deeper teachings, even when you're called to wisdom. Uh, so Mercury in retrograde um, took us deep. It also took us deep. Um, into uh, old um, situations, uh, thinking about old situations, painful past uh, situations, trauma. And uh, it was an inner um, work because it was something, if you experienced it, those kind of thoughts that needs to be purged or um, released. Um, the pain of past situations, um, those situations could have went back uh, decades ago, you know, or even when you were a child. Um, and the reason why Scorpio had its place or any of the water signs had its place this year in retrograde is because it's an emotional um, time when water signs go into retrograde. Number one, because um, their water, and that means that there is emotional uh, challenges that could come up to show us how to discipline, you know, our selves, our emotions, which is much of what Jesus was teaching uh, the disciples. Um, many people look at it as religious. Uh, they don't even address the fact that emotions need to be uh, stilled and spoken to in reference to. Um, to um, the scriptures are saying, peace be still. So Peter, excuse me, I had to plug this up. Peter gets um, the first uh, embark upon the subconscious levels. And um, I have uh, Tasha Cobb back there, but she's turned down so that no one will bother me about somebody else's rights to music. So Peter is the first one called out to experience um, the fact that Jesus is actually teaching that you have to speak to your emotions and steal them. And so Mercury in Scorpio um, is bringing up trauma. It, it probably brought up a uh, um, remembrance of sexual um, addictions or sexual feelings, uh, sexual appetites, and then those appetites out of control as well. And the reason why they're there is not to drive us, but spirit wants us to learn how to drive them rather than them driving us. Because when we drive them, that means that we are conscious of um, how things are um, affecting us. We're conscious, meaning that we're aware and we do not give in to the sexual desires driving us. So um, in Scorpio, the sign itself, I taught my class and um, I, I told them it's an investigative um, type of energy. It's not a, a energy that is just on the sand at the beach. It is an energy that actually goes deep into um, the water. Uh, it looks like a, a Scorpio, but it has the tendencies of the serpent. And I really am neutral on the serpent because I've seen that, you know, the snakes do different things um, for different reasons. And they're a creature that's here for its own being, not to hurt anybody. I feel like a snake, when it knows itself, it will do what it's supposed to do. And in the human sense, a snake will change its um, skin which means that it doesn't have to act deceptive or in a betrayal state. 
So um, when Peter was called out into the deep, he was called into a new level of subconscious because if Peter hadn't changed from just being a physical um, fisherman, how could he spiritually fish? And that's the part. And and so the part that Mercury in retrograde played with us is, have you allowed yourself to release this pain or are you still stuck in the past holding on to it is a question for everyone, you know. Um, and I don't think that anyone was without some type of um, day where emotions hit you. So what you do is learn from the energy rather than just throwing it off and acknowledge that it is energy because we're made up of energy. We just have these physical bodies that um, work through us. So if we're not aware of what the energies can do, we will not discipline them to bring them into a divine order where we can function under the order of the universe and God's request uh, concerning our purpose. So moving forward, Peter actually was called into the subconscious level, which when you study about subconscious, it has to do with water. Um, that's not physical water. I mean, you can look back at all of the water situations in the Bible and you'll find that there was either a need for a change or a need of, yeah, just leave it at change, okay? I don't want to go further. So um, even in the beginning, it, it was the heavens and the earth, uh, but God um, acknowledged that there was the sun and the moon or darkness and light. Water was created afterwards, you know, and, and this is a major factor. So what went in the water? You know, when you look at Genesis 1 and you go on, there was a spiritual um uh community or a spiritual foundation that was um based first and so when we speak of these things we're not speaking in a religious tone we're speaking into people's lives to let them know that they must go back to the spirit um to understand things and some people have um omitted spiritual things and the fact that the heavenlies matter the energies from the heavenlies matter it's necessary for us to understand what's going on in heaven as well as in earth because here you go how could you bind and loose anything in heaven if you have no idea of what's going on in heaven and the only way you're going to know is by uh prayer tapping into the energies you know god is spirit and god is truth and when we get there, then what happens is, is that we uh, receive information that sometimes people uh, that we know that our leaders don't even get. And it's not to separate and divide, but to let people know that you are endorsed by God if you have a peculiar calling. If you have a peculiar thought that no one else has had, it, make, it means that you're different. You and only you and God know what God has said to you, okay? But the need to reflect on spirit and truth has to do with, are we really hearing from spirit or hearing from man? So in my experience throughout the retrograde for Scorpio, um, I would say that it was not easy. You know, um, I teach my the people that mentor under me and I let them know uh, transparently when I'm going through something, you know, uh, what I'm suffering, because I believe that if a person can identify with the suffering or the pain, a person will be able to relate and become free. All right. So it wasn't easy for me mentally because I experienced flashbacks, pictures of the past, which means that my subconscious was really working on the past. Now, what choices do we have to make when that's happening, whether it's good or bad is either embrace it or not. For me, it was to pray my way out of those past pictures because they're not conducive to my uh, life at this point, uh, product productively manifesting. They have no, you know, good uh, to me. They're not serving me any good. And I'm looking for um, the manifestations of what's going to serve me we're good and the communities that I work with, the peoples, you know, that I work with, those that are in need. So this is what it's all about for me, um, my family and that kind of thing. So, you know, I started just going back to Sodom and Gomorrah 
and Lot. And that scripture that stood out um, in uh, Genesis around, um, well, Lot in uh, Sodom and Gomorrah's story is in chapter 19. But Abraham bidded God about the people because he was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And um, Lot and his wife, to fast forward, the part that really kept coming to me was, do not turn into a pillar of salt. Um, Lot's wife, and first of all, they were told to leave um, Sodom and Gomorrah. They were told to leave Sodom and Gomorrah. And um, they were told not to look back. And um, I think that a lot of us struggle with looking back. I think it's okay to look back if you're going to learn from it, but not if you're going to go back and repeat the past or um, bring other people's back into it because there's a thing of forgiveness. So when there is levels of unforgiveness, you really and I, we have to address it because it causes us to be immobile, paralyzed, and stuck. And I kept hearing go forward. You know, I kept hearing um, Lot's wife looking at the visual of how she uh, became a pillar of salt. And it was because she looked back. And again, what she looked back at was the past. Because if God tells us to go forward and create something, then we need to do that ingenuitively with him. We call on the spirit of ingenuity, uh, innovation, um, the ideas. No, we can't do uh, this life by ourselves, but we call on God. And that's where God is in the midst of it. So when I bring up Peter, the subconscious mind um, had to go deep. And surely Peter was, you know, afraid because he hadn't did it before. But in order to advance spiritually, you've got to go deep. You know, deep calls unto deep. And that's within us. The kingdom of God is within us. Therefore, there is energies that's calling us inside to deal with stuff that are not going to be conducive. And that to our um, prosperity, to our growth, to our healing. And that's what Scorpio was doing. And, you know, as I said, it's an investigative uh, type of um, energy. It'll call you into stuff that ain't even happening. You'll think that that stuff is real because it's from the past. But rather than bringing other people in it and judging them, um, as you find out by the standards of the past, you will be have you will have related to the fact that you need to pray for yourself or you need to really work on yourself emotionally, you know. And then as we do that, you and I, I don't say this in a sense that it's not me because I found some things coming up there too. But see, I'm honest with myself and I'm honest with God in me. I want to make this journey because if I didn't make it, um, what, where else am I going to go? And what am I taking with me? You know, the spirit is eternal. I mean, the soul is working on us. You know, John said, beloved, I would that you would prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Well, where is the prosperity for my soul if I don't work on it inside? especially when Jesus has directed us to the inside. So that means that I need to pray and I need to meditate. I need to see things healthy. I need to even look at, you know, like Jeremiah, God gave Jeremiah explicit directions on what was going to happen in the first chapter of Jeremiah with the wars that were coming. And um, that direction came from his inner spirit. So if we focus on meditation and strengthening our um, spirit man, rather than just strengthening that outward man, you know, being a part of things externally and hearing externally, we begin to close down the external noises. Um, you know, some people, they talk about white noises and that kind of thing. But when you, you, you settle down at night, sometimes you're hearing voices and those voices are people, voices that you've been around. We have to be cleansed of that. Sometimes it's a teacher from the past to say, you'll never be anything that, you know, you got to declare that it's not so and believe in yourself. So that retrograde brought us into a place where we had no other choice but to reflect. I, I got to tell you, I felt like I was being dragged through. And that's good, you know, because at this point, um, what will I do? Submit to the fact that I don't want to be excuse me, um, a pillar of salt. 
okay? So I'm going to hang up and, I mean, get off because I got to take this call. I just wanted to check in and let you know that it is well. Um, make, make the donations for uh, Interfaith Wealth Builders at Cash App IFW Builders. All right, God bless you.